Hello everyone, this is John from Western Maine Defensive Tactics. I'm going to talk about something I don't believe I've mentioned at all uh, in a video before. is training. I just walked outside of my house today and this is a little, one of these little pop-up canopies I have. I haven't prepared this area. This is actually an area where I've been working on my motorcycles since the spring. I just rolled the KZ out from under here. So, this is realistic. This isn't, this isn't a, a training area that's, you know, prepared by by monks for serious martial artists. This is real. I walk outside my house, I decide to train something, and I go do it wherever it's appropriate. Now, what I'm going to share with you is a trick that uh, Pete Couch taught me years and years ago, and something that I've used as a tool to get good quality repetitions in on a variety of skills. Because if you're like me, you're getting a little long in the tooth, and Let's say every couple of years, I've got to go to my doctor because I have something that I have some nagging, stupid injury that I've been putting up with for longer than I should. Then it, then I, it realizes me, hey, dipshit, you've got health insurance, go use it. And the doctor I see is awesome. I've been seeing him for years. He's familiar with the, the kinds of things I have to, I, I like to do. So I don't have to worry about him freaking out when I say, well, geez, I was out in the, in the yard juggling machetes the other day and I. I notice my tendons don't work anymore or something like that. So typically what happens is like, I wanted to see him when I was in my early forties about my knees and my knees were hurting. They bothered me for, for years. And then it occurred to me, well, geez, why don't you go get this checked out and see if you can solve this problem? Cause I figured it was an old, uh, an overuse injury from back when I used to do kickboxing and stuff like that. I just figured I had to live with it because I was over 40 and then I decided not to surrender to it and get it checked out. And it was something that with a little physical therapy, I was able to deal with. So I've smartened up a little bit in that regard. But typically what my doctor has to do is every couple of years, sit me down and remind me how old I am. And he'll say, John, usually the conversation is, John, yep, you're in really good shape for your age and your muscles are in good shape. But you have to remember that all your tendons and your connective tissues are 40 X years old, depending on what, you know, what year this happens it's 47 48 whatever whatever year old i am that year so and then he'll say so what have you been doing and with the uh, with the thing with my knees was i was doing bowie knife lunges you know you know uh, posada and you know long as uh, trying to stretch my stance and things like that trying to get some range out of that bowie knife and so he's like well how many times did you do that this week and i I've, I've got no idea well when did you do it last yesterday well how long did you do it well Springtime. I did it for two and a half hours. He's like, so you did this for two and a half hours. Yep. Did you do it the day before? Yeah, I did it only for about an hour or an hour and 15 minutes. Okay. He's like, you need to recover. You need to allow yourself more recovery time. And it's something that I hadn't really considered because when I was younger, I was able to do that shit all I wanted and didn't have to worry about it. But eventually your brain starts, you know, catching up to the fact that maybe you've got to change the way you train. So this is a trick that was taught to me by Pete Couts about just how to keep track of your repetitions, but it's also useful for training multiple skills, giving yourself uh, or keeping your skills fresh, as well as allowing you enough other time in your training cycle to work on other skills. So what I have here is 25, actually 27 pennies, because I figured I'd lose a couple at some point. Pile of 27 pennies. It doesn't have to be pennies. It can be pieces of brass. It can be rocks that you really like. Whatever. Pile of 27. And I'm going to work my pistol draw. I'm going to shoot at a bucket that's hanging on the tree over there. It's in a safe direction. My pistols draw all that good stuff. So when I start, I'm just going to start facing this direction and relax. I'm going to clear my cover garment. Get my pistol out. Acquire my other hand. Come out. Good clean dry fire. Bring it back to retention position. Recock and reholster. Get myself squared away to go from, go another time, and now I'm going to move one penny over here into a different pile. Then I'm going to do it again. I'm going to move another penny. You get the idea. When I've done, when I've done all 25 repetitions, I'll stop and take a break. And then I'll move the pennies back and I'll do 50 repetitions of that particular skill. When I'm done, I will tend to want to do more. But this tells my brain, hey, you've done this twice. That's what you told yourself you were going to do. Now move on to the next skill and maybe I'll start drawing my knife or something like that. 
I try to work skills that work different muscles so I don't get those uh, overuse or repetitive stress injuries and stuff like that. You know, it's usually just annoying tendon shit that, you know, it makes you not as able to do things. I really, I really strained my shoulder and my elbow at working pistol draw a couple of years ago and that really irritated me. But the 25 pennies works good and it also makes it easier for me to stay on top of several skill sets like uh, using my pistol, using my knife, uh, uh, doing different katas, stuff like that. And also, if you're like me, you have a variety of interests and a variety of skills you want to learn. And in my environment, you can't always work them outside like I prefer to. You've got a limited amount of time at, per year, you know, because I'm not, not going to go out and do uh, my Tonsudo katas on the ice because I'll end up getting killed. But that's just how it is. I've done them on the ice before. It's just not. It works great until it doesn't, I'll tell you that. Um, anyway, and my point is, this is a great method to allow you to work a variety of skills in a systematic manner. And I chose 50 repetitions because after a year, you're going to have over 10,000 repetitions of that particular thing if you do it every day. You can do more, you can do less. Sometimes I dial it back, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I'll do, like one day I'll do... 50 one-handed presentations, maybe the next day I'll do 50 two-handed presentations, maybe I'll do 25 with my left hand reaching across or something like that, just so you're working a variety of skills. And as you know, it's when, you're, when you've are when you got a, let's say, a, a bunch of different interests, it's hard to get all those interests in. And I tend, in, in the, well, I still do it now, I can't say I tended to do it in the past, it's I tended to, or still tend to, take one thing I'm really interested in at the time and hammer the shit out of it. Work on that for months and months on end. And then in the back of my head is, I'll be working knife skills, I'll be playing with machetes or bowie knives, or sticks or something, or doing unarmed, and say, geez, you know, you're carrying a pistol every day, when's the last time you practiced your pistol draw? This allows me to practice what I consider utility skills, the things I already know that I have some skill at, but I need to keep sharp. This is a good way to keep sharp on a variety of things that you know, you're going to use every day, like, like uh, you know, your knife draw, your pistol draw, things like that. And it is overwhelming because, or can be overwhelming because every time I'm doing something and getting good at it, there's always that nag in the back of my head that something else is getting neglected because you're human, you can only do so many things. But anyway, get yourself a handful of pennies or brass or pebbles or whatever you'd like to use and do it. And no, this isn't my favorite training area. This is just where I came out to train today. I've trained off the back of my bike with whatever I've got on me, you know. And truth be told, I have some really good, they're not, they're not spectacular training areas. Ones, the places that I, re I find really satisfying to go and train, to, you'll never see because I'll never film. I don't, I don't like doing that. Um, if I film myself training, it's so I can critique myself, which is something that is really cool about, you know, modern technology, because whereas you'd have to ask somebody else and rely on their opinion, now you can film yourself and say, oh yeah, you're doing this, you're doing that, or this is looking good, but this needs improvement. So anyway, try out the 25 pennies. It works pretty good, and it's something that I hadn't done for a little while, and I try to do a training schedule for myself for the year what I want to work on this year. And generally I fulfill that, but sometimes it becomes part of my workout by the first three months of the year. And I just start doing it instinctively and just naturally let it progress. And I stop counting reps or I get sidetracked by a nuance of something. I tend to do that a lot with, with the, like Bowie knife stuff. I'll get, I'll start doing thrusts and I'll, I'll start getting kind of uh, preoccupied with one certain thrust and really working the shit out of that and neglecting the other ones. I'll have to bring myself back and say, okay, explore this one, but make time for the other stuff. And the other movements I'll use this with, but then I'll just give myself some time to free flow on other things. Like this summer, I find myself getting uh, interested again in chain whip and I spent just a little bit, you know, like one summer on chain whip didn't get particularly skilled with it, but now it's come back like, geez, you should, you should pick up chain whip again and just start practicing that. So I will use this method with like my, my short blade and my pistol to stay sharp with the tools that I carry every day and then allow myself to just go out and play with chain whip for an hour or so, something like that. 
but that's just me. If you have other methods that you use to kind of keep your yourself tracking in one direction, share it in the comments because I'd like to hear it because things work for a certain amount of time or a certain environment and sometimes you have to change things up. But anyway, I hope this helps you out. See ya.